My name is Rich Harrington, and today I want to show you how albums are a great way to get your images organized inside of Luminar. In this particular case, you see I have a folder of images selected. It's a smaller subset of what's in my library. And the benefit with folders, of course, is that deleting and cleaning things up in a folder means that you're actually cleaning up your hard drive. But if you delete something from a folder, it's actually gone. And that's by design. But maybe you want to do a little bit of virtual organization. Well, this is where albums come into play. To create an album, you can select images that you want. And then just go over to the albums area and click the plus symbol here to add a new album. You can then name this album very easily. In the future, if you ever need to rename the album, just right click on it and you'll see rename or double click and you can modify this. Now, if you are working with images and you want to add those to an album, just select them and drag them on top of the album over here in the side panel. And you see the images are added to the album. And I'm gonna double click to go full screen. Now, if you see all the images selected in the side panel, just go ahead and deselect those. You could choose edit, deselect all, and they become inactive. Now, as I click, I'm working with one image at a time. Using the actions panel here, I can assign ratings to my images and then press the arrow key to go to the next image. This makes it simple to assign a rating between one and five stars. Additionally, you could easily use the keyboard shortcut of one, two, three, four, or five to decide how you feel about your images. As you're working, you also can decide that you don't want to use an image at all. Pressing the X key will mark it as a reject and you see it becomes dimmed here in the selection. I like this particular image, so I'm gonna mark it with the five key. And you see that they quickly become rated. Star ratings have been applied to all images. If star ratings aren't your thing, feel free to use the simple selection method of P for pick. And this is going to mark it with a favorites icon. You see the little heart becomes active and this is fast and simple or X for reject. And this is an alternative strategy to using the star rating system. And it just allows for a simple yes or no type answer if you want to use a particular image. In this case, once I've got a collection done, I'm gonna go up a level and take a look at that album. One of the greatest benefits of using albums is it's very simple to apply filtering. For example, show me the five star and better images. And maybe these are the ones that I want to share to social media from a recent trip to Dubai. Or maybe as I take a look at this, I want to see just the images that I marked as favorites. And you see that's a bigger collection that comes forward. This makes it fast and simple. One of the best things though, is that you could apply to see images you don't want. For example, I can show just the rejected images. And now these are easy to select, Command or Control A, and just press the Delete key. Doing so removes them from the album. However, you'll notice if we go back here to the main folder, all those images are still present. We didn't delete them from the library, we just got rid of them from the selection. Maybe I want to see all of the images here that are marked as favorites. Well, then I get that bigger collection or maybe just the five star images. And in any case, it makes it fast and easy to get to just the best photos. While you're here, remember, you could take advantage of quick editing presets. So it's super easy to switch on over to edit mode. And let's just bring up our Luminar looks here. And from the essentials category, I'll take advantage of the new AI image enhancer look. And that quickly fixes the details in the image and gives it the best look without me having to do a lot of editing. Now I'll select all of the images in my album and just right click and choose sync adjustments. The shortcut is shift command S or shift control S. Now, if we go back to the library and we take a look up, you see that all of those images have the enhancement applied and they are here collected as an album. This makes it super easy to select these images and easily export files for sharing or printing or send those via services like mail or messages or post to photo sharing sites. Be sure to take advantage of albums as a great way to virtually organize your images, adding your favorite images to an album and then using your rating system and filtering controls to decide which images you have visible 
so that it's easier to make your favorite edits or share your best images with others.